Hey, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm back at you with another lesson. It's really just going to be a quick hit. Uh, a brother in this camp already uh, brought this information out, uh, but it was on my spirit to go into this briefly but i never got around to it so i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway to keep pushing that spirit that this place is going down the the capital of the so-called white man's kingdom is babylon the great okay and this place is going to see some harsh times people are already seeing these hard times but things are going to get things are going to get worse you know, ever since, ever since 2000 and, let's just go back to 2008, 2009, when we started seeing massive layoffs all over this so-called country, you know, then, then through the manipulation of Esau playing with the money and, you know, um, inflating the economy, printing more and more money, so to speak. You know, the jobs will come back, then they'll lay off. So it's just a a manipulation game that this man is uh, playing, but this place is hurt, according to, uh, this place is sick. Let's get a quick scripture real quick. Go here. About, let's see, this is, I think it's Jeremiah, the, the 50, 51st chapter. Six verse. Right, let's this is uh Jeremiah fifty one and seven. It says Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of a wine, therefore the nations are, are mad. And one of the wines that this man has spread is for you to adopt a credit based system. Okay, so these these um these nations, they they did backdoor deals with uh, America, okay. And America is based upon what well, is based upon the federal. Well, the money, so-called money, is based upon the Federal Reserve note, and it's a credit-based setup, okay. So now, because America is in this uh, uh, dealing with these heavy debts, and then printing and printing and printing and printing uh, more and more money. And it's really digital, you know. They only print so much money, actual money, but it's it's digitally, they're, they're, they're printing, uh, how you want to say, how you say it? Uh, yeah, like basically printing money out of thin air, so to speak, you know. And this is devalued the, the dollar, okay. So now the whole world is really affected by this. That's why that's why it says in in Revelation the 18 chapter that when this place goes up in smoke through thermonuclear destruction, that the nations are going to weep as they see the the, the uh, basically when it's telefies that this place has been blown off the map so to speak. You know the nations are going to see that and they're going to weep because they're not going to be able to make money off this place. But there's a world. Right now, there's a world, um, it's a global economic crisis. It's not just America, but based upon really because of this place, because of Esau's faulty dealings with money in the earth, this is why the whole world is, is uh, feeling a global economic crisis. All right, let's read on. It says, and they pissed off about it. That's why they're looking to blow this place off the map. You know, it says Jeremiah 58, uh, 51 and 8, it says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. And this is where this place is. Um, it ain't a, it ain't when the preliminary stages of this place falling and, and being destroyed before the, the missiles hit. OK. It says how for her take bomb for her pain 
If so, she may be healed. And one major, uh, one key thing to an empire falling is when uh, its money is devalued to damn near where it's worthless. Okay. And uh, inflation, which can lead to hyperinflation. And and the way that they've been trying to heal that or remedy that uh, problem or put that bomb on the on the economic wound is through more debt. That's why it says in Habakkuk the second chapter, it talks about uh this place is referring to America uh being laden with thick clay. Meaning heaven, you go into that Hebrew word is Abat Yat, which means heavy debt. So this place is saturated in debt. So in, in the P these drones here don't understand how money, how the economic system works, how the money system works. So they don't understand that all these stimulus and these bailouts is uh is hurting this place, it's making this place sicker. It's not healing this place, but they're trying to uh heal this place through stimulus. Like look a perfect example is the when the, the pandemic hit. 2020 around what March the end of March somewhere something like that and what did they do to try to okay well that hit businesses shut down because nobody could go out and that and that stopped the traffic the flow of traffic and business buying and selling right and jobs had to lay off because they couldn't afford to keep paying these uh keep paying these employees and they're not making money because the, the trip buying and selling it was put to a to a halt or came to a halt right and what did they do to to make then these stupid people these stupid americans you know don't understand that those those trillion dollars worth of stimulus didn't help this place it only hurt it because if it helped it so much if it if it really helped us why are corporations still laying off? Why are people still losing their job? Why is is it all is is this talk about uh this debt ceiling talk? And they keep raising the debt ceiling. And they keep talking about shutting down shutting down the government because it costs to run the government. You see? And ultimately, this place will not be here. It's, it's on its way out, and it's going to keep going down the drain until this place is blown up through thermonuclear destruction. Now, um, I want to go and hit this, get into this article. This is not even going to really... I'm going to read the heading, and this is from uh, The Independent. This was yesterday it came out. This information came out. It says CEO fires 900 employees over Zoom call. And this is major right here because 900 people all at once getting uh, laid off. You know, normally they lay off, uh, companies lay off in waves. They may get, you know, 50 to 60 or 70 people. Then they'll come back and they'll get maybe another 100. Then they'll come back and they'll, you know, maybe three, three waves. They done laid off three, four hundred employees or less. In this situation, this was all at once. Nine hundred people lost their job. OK, it says your employment is terminated effective immediately. And I want to read a little. I must uh, see. Yeah. These are comments. What's going on here? All right. All right, I got to turn the phone this way. So let me, I'll just read. Okay. Guess I'll go back. I'm going to read the first two paragraphs, these first two paragraphs. It says the chief executive 
of a U.S. based digital mortgage lending company fired 900 people on a Zoom call ahead of the holiday season. Ain't this something? Hey, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. People lost their fucking jobs right before the this, this Christmas hit. It says it has been reported about 15% of the company's employees in the U.S. and in India were abruptly laid off as part of the cost-cutting exercise Vishal uh, Garg, the head of uh, Better.com, can be heard saying in the video call that reportedly took place last week, uh, a call, I'm sorry, a recording of the call, which has not been verified, was widely shared on, on YouTube. Let's hear it. I heard it already, but this is a beautiful sound to, to my ears. Why is this phone acting up? Okay. Um, thank you for joining. Um, I come to you with not great news. Um, the market has changed, as you know, and uh, we have to move with it in order to survive so that hopefully we can continue to thrive and deliver on a mission. If you're on this call, you are part of the unlucky group being laid off. Your employment here is terminated effective immediately. What does this mean for what's next? You're going to get an email from HR, askhr at better.com to your personal email address. So we're going to see more of this. We're going to see more of this uh, here in these last days. Now, let me get this scripture and I'm going to close this video out. It's going to get so bad. And that's the, the remedy to all this will be the the um, the MOTB. When shit get real bad, prices go through, the, go further through the roof. Gas prices go up. Uh, people start to lose their jobs. Shit spins out of control. The uh, the jab and stab is still on the scene. You know, um, then they're going to come with the MOTB to rims the so-called remedy this such this uh, world wide uh, economic crisis. This is Isaiah, the 19th chapter. And, uh, which way is the verse? Okay, here it goes. This is Isaiah 19 and 15. It says, and you can read the whole chapter. Uh, the Apostle uh, Tahar just went into this whole chapter. You can watch that video. Um, I forget the name of the or the title of the video, but it's a definitely a good watch. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna get straight to the point for this uh, particular video. It says, "Neither shall there be any work for Egypt." This Egypt is talking about America, not ancient Egypt. You go to Revelation 11 and 8. It talks about the great city we, that the uh, Israelites were going to be uh, dead in the great city, which is spiritually, well, they will be spiritually dead in the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified. Okay. Meaning this is the over on this side of the world is where they X'd out the a uh, depiction of uh, how our Lord is described in the scriptures, okay, and put up a so-called white man to represent our Lord, you know. All right, it says, and really it's, it, uh, 
Yeah, they came over here and forced that image on, on Israelites. Anyway, it says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. And it's going to get to that point because you even have people, the head represent people that hold high, high paying uh, position type jobs. All right. CEOs and uh, executives. I guess the same thing, you know, people that are make six figures a year. All right. Even seven figures a year. You got a movie. It's a movie called, uh, I think it's called Businessmen. Ben Affleck plays in it. Uh, some other good uh, actors play in the movie. I can't think of. Right now, I thought Tommy Lee Jones playing the movie. And there's some other good actors that play in that movie. Um, fuck is this guy's name? Anyway, I can't think of his name. Anyway, it's a pretty good movie to watch. And it's based off of the uh, economic uh, recession. Or you can even say depression that came about in 2008, 2009. And it was, it was showing uh, in that movie a man that had a pretty... A well-paying job, he lost his job, you know, and he uh, he blew his head off, committed suicide. That's going to come back in a big way. Over this pandemic, they say that uh, um, the uh, suicide hotline was off the chain. And we know here in the, uh, if you, you can go and do your research, the suicide rate for middle-aged white men is, 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 is pretty high. Because this place is going down, man. I'm going to end it right there uh, until the next video. Or Lord willingness was edifying. And until the next video, Shalom.